Hey guys, Crewman here, and I'm sure you guys have seen some videos on this PC. This is like my favorite PC because it's kind of a meme. Check out these cool stickers from Decentral Tech, by the way. Anyway, uh, I've decided that I think I want to make it look a little nicer because it kind of looks like caca. And like, one of the things that I want to do while my shed is kind of down and quiet is I want to make it look nicer. Like, I want to take that bit axe off the floor. I want to uh, maybe clean up the wiring a little bit. I'm going to try to clean up these rigs, maybe wire them a little tighter. Uh, that one I might wire a little tighter too. To be honest with you, I wanted to get them into server cases, but um, that, that I had something worked out and it kind of fell through. But everything else is in cases, which is which is fine, honestly. Um, going to clean it up. And the thing that kind of also spurred it was uh, our buddy at 3D Printmaster sent me this and it's a power supply mount. So I kind of want to take it off of this block of wood, mount it, and get that SSD mounted as well, just so this thing looks nicer and I'm going to clean the wires up. I think I want to do that in this video. I like doing random PC builds and I really like the live blogging stuff again, so I want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and take this off the wall and get this in my workbench and we're going to rebuild it right now. So here are the parts, excuse the messy bench. Uh, it's funny because this PC is literally just, this thing was sent to me by uh, someone in a Discord that I'm friends with. Uh, I bought a, it was the guy I bought a bunch of Octominers off. He just tossed this in because he was just getting rid of stuff. As a joke, basically. I got this thing uh, from a big lot and I was gonna sell it, but it had terrible reviews on selling it because it was dangerous, people said. I looked it up, it didn't look that dangerous, but it didn't seem worth the five to 10 bucks I could get for it. So like, and then I have this random SSD. So this is the case, but it looked kind of bad with this wooden board. And then when I saw this, I was like, well, I could just put this here instead. So what we're going to do, uh, I just realized that I may have to drill out a fan. Oh, so I was originally gonna put the fan uh, in the in the side where this thing is, but I'm obviously not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna drill a hole in the middle of this, I think, and I'm just going to essentially um, run all the wires through it, just so it looks neater. Right? Just because it, it it's cheap and it's in a shed doesn't mean it has to look like crap. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So here's what it's supposed to look like after I get it all uh, installed. I gotta put this in still. The hole will be where all the wires will go, especially on the modular stuff that I don't need. And I'll probably just like screw, attach them by in here. And then we are gonna have the um, this motherboard screwed in. So I did this this thing right here kept coming off, so I just screwed a CP or a screw from your PC case in. I hope it's not gonna be an issue, and if it is, I'll just take it off. Um, I am kind of annoyed that I have to put the motherboard in after I screw the these in, and I actually might end up moving the motherboard, the power supply over because I don't want it to mess with these screws. So we're uh, we're gonna try to do this again because I don't want to drill. I'm normally a drill three times, measure once kind of guy, but not with this board. I don't really feel like messing it up. So we'll be right back. So I decided why not just spray paint it. There was holes everywhere. It kind of looked a little ugly. So I was like, let's just spray paint it. Took me 10 seconds. Uh, being every Warhammer player, I have a lot of spray paint around. So we spray painted it. Um, it'll look pretty cool with this with this uh, case or this power supply holder. So we're gonna get this screwed in and we're gonna start wiring everything up. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it looks a lot better too. All right, so, so far so good. These silver screws are ugly, so I'm just gonna spray them. And I'm not gonna screw it in, like you can. I might, uh, I may just slide it in, but I like it that it just fits just fine. And basically all the wires are gonna go through there. And, all right, so this is what it looks like basically done. I have, I built it and I was like, wait a minute. I have the screw holes under here, so I gotta take it out. And, uh, oops. and then we're gonna get this thing ready to deploy. I'm pretty happy with it, it looks way nicer now. All right, so here's the hard drive drilled into the back. Uh, the, the screw is so thin compared to the board. There was no way I was gonna get into it. So basically, like this will go back here. I mean, I can even I can even move it like this, kind of right. So like I can just run it through there, and then the, um, the SATA cable can go through there. So I'm not gonna have any issues. So this thing is gonna stay and it's not gonna fall, which is what I care about. So now we're gonna go ahead and uninstall the motherboard and then we're gonna go put this in the, in the shed and we're gonna get it rolling.
it is. Here's the finished version. Uh, obviously, it's not perfect, right? Like, this is still a modular PSU. Um, you know, I still had the, I couldn't really hide the, the uh, motherboard cable and the CPU cable, so I basically just wrapped them around. Same with the off switch. Like, I didn't want to go crazy, right? I mean, I, you know, letting the paint dry and everything, I probably spent, I don't know, maybe like an hour on this, and I, I mean, I'm glad I did it, because I like this PC and I think it looks a lot better. This case looks really good. Now, to his credit, Zach at 3D Print Master was like, you know, about 100 to 105 degrees is gonna be this thing's limit, and I said, let's try it in the shed. I'm comfortable with it. Um, this pin doesn't fall out now anymore, that's great. And I do have a wireless card. I was using a hard line connection, but I'll need that again for when I get the mining rigs back on. And I did take off the board, or the, the uh, bracket on this, so it'll just rest on here easier. It's not gonna, it's not heavy enough to like damage it, and you can't really damage something that's free. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. This wire's floating up here, but it doesn't matter. Everything looks great, it looks nice. Let's go ahead and power it on for the first time. There we go. Let's make sure it posts. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> that would have been funny but bad at the same time. Uh, so anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this. I just like to make edit posts, by the way. I just like to make my stuff look better. Uh, you know, I don't like wires hanging. But shout out to 3D Print Master for sending me this and is the inspiration for this build. Always, guys, if you can make your stuff look nicer, even if it's a free PC that's in your shed, I would advise it. It just takes a little elbow grease, and you want to take pride in what you own. Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm really loving these live vlog videos. I hope you enjoy it too. Please like and subscribe. Crewman is out.